Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Today, we're here to talk about the shooting of Renico Rodney Burchell, a shooting that took place at the St. David's Cricket Club. Speaking today, we have Acting Inspector Mr. J Mr. Jason Smith, and of course, as on the radio as well, we have uh, Inspector, excuse me, Chief Inspector Mr. Arthur Glassford. At this time, we're going to ask Acting Inspector Smith to come forward. On Friday, the 28th of December, 2019, St. David's Cricket Club held their annual Christmas party for their members and supporters at the clubhouse in St. David's. About 1.40 a.m. Saturday morning, 29th of December, while patrons were socializing and enjoying the festivities, a male brandishing a firearm shot 30-year-old Renico Rodney Burchill multiple times as he stood outside of the cricket club. The suspect left on foot and it is believed that he ran towards the general area of Cashew City of St. David's. First aid measures were commenced on the victim at the scene and an ambulance attended and transported Mr. Burchill to King Edward Memorial Hospital where he was later pronounced dead at 4 p.m. this day, Sunday the 30th of December. An investigation has commenced under the leadership of myself, Acting Inspector Jason Smith, and a team of experienced investigators from the Serious Crime Unit. As of 4.20 p.m. today, a 31-year-old man has been taken into police custody in connection with this murder investigation. To date, a number of patrons who were at the establishment that morning have been interviewed, however, we would like to speak with any persons who were at the club during the incident. We are equally interested in communicating with individuals who may have seen or heard anyone acting suspiciously in the Cashew City Road area. There is also a specific interest in a car that drove along that same Cashew City Road immediately after the incident. The Bermuda Police Service remains committed to the victims of crime and their families, and we will continue to pursue and bring to justice all of those persons who challenge peace and order in our communities. In recent weeks, three firearms have been recovered by police and one person remains in custody with another on bail as investigations continue. We are appealing to persons who may, not, who may have knowledge of the planning, the execution of this event, or the subsequent actions after the shooting. And that simply means that there, we recognize that there are people in our communities who may be somewhat uh, intimidated initially to come forward with information that may assist the police. Those persons might have heard information at different social events, or clubs, or churches, or have friends that they've overheard talking about the event. We are aware that at the time of this incident, at the party at St. David's Cricket Club, there were well over 100 persons in attendance. And we believe that there are many of our members of our community that have information about that. So today we appeal to you, those of you that do have information, that you will come forward to assist us in bringing closure, giving closure to the family of Mr. Burchill and to ensure that justice is done. All information that you do have will be treated in the strictest of confidence and you can contact me, Acting Inspector Smith, on 717-0864 or email at jsmith2 at bps.bm. You may also contact the private and confidential Crime Stoppers hotline on 800-8477. The Bermuda Police Service would like to convey our sincerest condolences to the family and friends of Ronico Burchill. I'll entertain any questions you might have. Please you say your name and the news agency you represent. Dr. Thomas Executive, Dr. Inspector Smith. Um, you said Mr. Burchill was shot multiple times. How many exactly? We are aware that there were several shots that were fired, um, and Mr. Burchill was hit once. Um, is there any 
is the suspect you have in custody known to police? At this stage, uh, I wouldn't want to comment too far on that. Um, the investigation is, and particularly his arrest, is very recent. Uh, we arrested him some 20 minutes after the death of Mr. Bircher, so inquiries are still early at this stage, but we will provide that information maybe perhaps later on. Uh, Owen, uh, Owen Johnson Barnes with the Royal Gazette. Um, is it believed that this uh, shooting was gang related? Yes. Um, is there any uh, CCTV footage of the incident? Yes. And whilst we're on that subject, we want to make a further appeal for those persons who might have been recording uh, via social media uh, the incident as it unfolded that night. We also like to speak of you. And CCTV uh, is a tool that the investigators are using to assist us in uh, directing the investigation. And with uh, New Year's coming up, are you concerned at all about uh, retaliation? Um, with New Year's coming up, um it's always a busy time of the year. And we, we're ensuring that we put the appropriate policing plans in place. Um, the minister alluded uh, yesterday that we will have act an extra police presence and extra police patrols um, in preparation for New Year's Eve. Thank you.